hello everyone welcome back to my channel in this video i'll be looking at the solutions to question number three for biology paper two for the year 2020 for gce candidates so this is question number three and question number three we have figure 3.0 below shows a section through a nephron so this is our nephron diagram we have the part labeled uh, j which is the Glomerulus, we have K, which is the Bowman's capsule, and we also have part labeled L, which is the collecting part. So let's look at the questions which follow. So our first uh, question is uh, question number A, and for question number A, it says name the parts uh, labeled J, K, and D, L. So we said that for part uh, J, this is the glomerulus. So that is the glomerulus. Then for K, we have the Bowman's capsule. And for L, it's the collecting duct. So these are the parts which we have labeled so we have labeled j as our glomerulus uh, k the bowman's capsule and l which is the collecting duct so these were the solutions to the first part of the question let's move on to the next part so the next part of the question is uh, b1 so b1 says suggest uh, three substances that are not filtered by part j so we're talking about the Bowman's capsule. So in blood, what is not filtered are the large uh, particles or molecules. So the components of blood which are not filtered, which are large, we have the red blood cells. So the red blood cells want to be filtered. Also the white blood cells. Then also the plasma protein. The plasma proteins as well as the, the platelets. So these are the components of blood which won't be filtered during ultra filtration because they are too large to pass through the glomerulus. So here part K we have that uh, the blood as it passes through the large parts of blood won't be filtered so we are only going to have the uh, urea mineral salts and excess water being filtered but uh, inside here we are going to have the red blood cells white blood cells we are also going to have uh, the plasma proteins as well as platelets not being filtered during the process of ultra filtration so we can now move on to the next part of the question which is now b2 so b2 says explain what would happen if j happen at j if the coiling of the blood capillary was uh, increased so we are talking about uh, the glomerulus being increased now when we increase the glomerulus it means that uh, we now have uh, a large surface uh, area so more coiling inside the glomerulus gives us a large surface area meaning that more ultrafiltration is going to take what place so we can say increase in the uh, coiling in plus j will increase the surface area this would in turn increase the process of ultrafiltration So I say this would increase the process, the process of ultra filtration. So that is what would happen. So that is the solution. So basically, just increasing the coiling of the blood vessels of blood capillary would basically increase process of ultra filtration so more ultra filtration will take in place so that was the solution to question number b2 
So the next uh, part of the question is uh, C, which was the last part of question number three. So here it says, name the hormone that causes the reabsorption of water in the kidney and the organ where it is produced. So reabsorption of water is actually uh, done by the hormone antidiuretic hormone. So now, in case uh, you are stuck with the spelling for antidiuretic hormone, uh, in biology we accept the letters, and the letters, is, this one is abbreviated as the ADH. So this is an international uh, abbreviation in biology. All biologists know what ADH is, just like any other abbreviations like ATP, uh, DNA, these letters are accepted. So you just writing ADH is fine, that will also be accepted as a, a solution. So the organ where this hormone is actually produced is the pituitary gland. So this one will be produced by the pituitary gland in the brain. So that is where we are going to have uh, antidiuretic hormone coming from it comes from the pituitary gland in the brain so these were the solutions to question number three for GCE biology 2020 paper two thank you so much for watching if you enjoyed this video make sure you give it a like and also subscribe to the channel so that you don't miss out on any latest videos thank you so much for watching